someone had requested that I talk about my MAC palettes and I thought I'd apply some. But first, brought to you by JBS Farm and viewers like you. Thank you for supporting this channel. Um, today I have one package of fresh bamboo guest soaps and they're little trees, little green trees, little squares. So you can put those out for your guests or you can take it to travel with because it's a good glycerin soap and you don't have to use the junk that they have in the cheap hotels that I stay at. And I have a new uh, shea butter formula um, scented the same the same vanilla, but I don't call it facial soap because you can use it everywhere. And I don't have it on Etsy yet, but if you want it right away, um, just message me and I'll put it up on Etsy. But I'm going to get a bunch of spring things and put them all up at the same time. So let's get on with the show. I have three of these kind of big MAC palettes. You can get them in four uh, and fill them yourself and you get to pick your own colors. Now the MAC uh, eyeshadows are really nice quality. You can pick whatever color you want because they've got every color. Um, so at this one I have mostly my mattes and I've named like this one's cork so that's cork. Then I have Foley and what do I have at the bottom? Mystery. And so I'll just go through real quick and tell you the names. Soft Brown, Copper Plate, Embark, Wedge, Corduroy, Golden Brown, <laughs> my little mirror, <laughs> um, Gleam, All It Glitters, Swiss Chocolate, Grand Entrance, Shale, and this one is a NYX called Haywire, and I really like that color. Uh, yes, I have a simple human mirror. <laughs> um, it keeps going on when I'm in front of it. This is Brulee, Texture, Patina, Rice Paper, oh, I can't read, oh, Mulch, Texture, if I had my glasses on, right? Naked Lunch, Sable, Woodwinked, Amber Lights, Bold and Brazen, Bronze, Antiqued, Copper Ring, let's use Copper Ring today, and Satin Taupe. Anyway, uh, Shroom, Silverthorn, Club, Vix, Vex, Humid, I better get some color on here, and Carbon, it, it? Green Smoke, Lucky Green, Sumptuous Olive, love that one, um, Trax, De Blang, Cranberry, Gorgeous Gold, Sketch, and Plum Dressing. So, uh, I hope I was in view. Let's get started. I've already primed with the Tarte um, stick. I never could find the name of it, but um, it's about the color of Painterly, which I ran out of, and I looked in a Mac store, and I still like Painterly best for a base, because it's matte and it's just skin colored. I grabbed my my gloss brushes I got last Christmas but um really any any of your brushes or you know any brush that you have is just nice. So I'm going to go on top of my primer with brulee and just smooth everything out so that when I do a bright color it won't grab. Yeah, you can hear the wind blowing. We're having a northeaster. We've been having it for the last week. Um, sometimes 40 mile an hour winds, mostly 20. It's uh, about 29 degrees out in the daytime. I don't like it. Horse doesn't seem to care. He just wants the grass. And it's frozen. But he's out in the wind, so he doesn't seem to mind. It's about degrees. On the roof it's like 33 or something. Anyway, when he gets cold he goes over to these trees and backs into them. Here's Copper Ring. I thought, let's take the scariest color and prove that we can do it. And I'm going to put it right on my lid. Yes, it's dark and scary, but who's going to run away? Heck, nobody says, oh my god, you have too much eye makeup on. Unless you do. So, we get that on the lid. And that looks not very pretty yet. But, I take a domed brush, and I'm going to go into soft brown. These are the colors I used yesterday, and they worked. I just guessed them as we went. And I have to go like that because I have a very hooded eye. So I have to find where my fake crease is. 
Boy, what a difference it makes painting up here dark color instead of light. If you had a light right there, oh boy, you might as well be a monk. All right, then I'm going to take a little pointy brush. And what did I use? I think I used Foley, which is this guy right here. And I sure hope this video works because I'm going to put it up anyway. It's been a while since I've seen you guys and I want to see you guys again. Look at that. Stuff goes in the crease. Uh, my uh, concealer goes in the crease and makes wrinklies. Oh, I saw. She looked about 16 and she was putting on concealer. About fell off my chair. I was like, why are you doing that? It was funny, her father was narrating. She was redoing her eyebrows and he says, Yes, I'm redoing my eyebrows. Because I don't like them, they're not good enough. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend everything. And I know I never take enough time blending, but who wants to watch that? Alright, then I need a little highlight. And yesterday I used rice paper. So let's go into rice paper and highlight there and highlight there a little bit in the corner. Get a little more there. So there we go. Put those aside. You know what fixes everything? Eyeliner and mascara. So Let's do a little liner. This is a liner I'm trying to use up. Liner Intense from L'Oreal. It's probably four years old. And it just keeps going. I had it in my travel bag for a while, so that's why it didn't go right away. So at that point, I wasn't traveling much. Now I go to Arizona and visit Jessica. And I went to Portland and visited my mom. Now I'll just go to Portland and visit my sister. Anyway. Then, I have so many, I have a lot of sampley things, so I gotta use up. I bought this a while ago, and so I thought, hey, I bought it, I better start using it. So, I put this on first, and then I put on a sampley thing. And I don't know if that does any good or not, but then here's the other side. And this is a Maybelline. XXL mascara. Who knows if they still even make it because I probably bought this two, two plus years ago. And it's still got plenty of juice to it, but it, I don't think it makes my eyelashes look thicker or longer or anything until you smudge it on your cheek. But um, So then I take the MAC Zoom Lash and that seems to thicken things up. Go to the base of the root and jiggle up. And then you squint. Oh god. And then you wipe it right on your skin and look at how dark that makes it. Let's see if I have a few tip. Oh, I can't get into it. My light stand is right in front of the drawer. Alright. There. Uh one thing I have found, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Um, I can see the little pink skin underneath my lashes. So I'm going to take a Giorgio Armani pencil. Does it say anything? Waterproof Smooth Silk Eye Pencil. And this is some kind of brown. It's not going to tell me. And I'm not going to slow down. So I just run it there. And it helps the eyelashes look darker. See, doesn't that look better, this eye than this eye? And this Armani seems to stay on. It and Chanel. I've about given up on my NARS. I love NARS. And it stayed on, oh gosh, Stila didn't stay on at all. It just walked down underneath my eyes. But boy, it went on easy. But this seems to go on easy, too. And now, I'm just going to keep moving along. Uh, yesterday, I did a real dark lipstick. And I'm still going to do a red, but... I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to use the NYX um, Mauve lip pencil I'm trying to use up. My 2016. Use it up. I got these little white dots on my lip. And I asked about them. 
it's like talking to a dentist, right? Uh, and they're just little fat deposits or something. They don't, they don't really do anything. I just think they look honey. Yes, I've been exfoliating, but it's, like I said, we're having a Northeaster, so lips are dry. This is Dubonnet from MAC, so we gotta do MAC if we're doing MAC eyes. Mmm, I love this color. It's kind of a whiny red. And you mash it in your lips, and then you get rid of where it goes out. Yeah! The one I used yesterday, and I used it with that lip pencil, was, um, oh, let's compare them. Uh, Leave a Glam 3. Well, it's not as glossy, and the um, Dubonnet has more red to it. And so I felt pretty whiny colored, and I don't really like me in those like black dahlia, black cherry colors. So, since I was going on film, oh, this was done with my, oh gosh, well I know the name of it. Anyway, I did, I curled my hair this way and boy, I got a lot more volume. So, JBS Farms thanks you so much for joining us and supporting us. That's what helps keep me here. And, um, Happy New Year, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.